Today I'm working on a 2008 Buick Enclave. Uh, this is the two-wheel drive. Now, basically, we're going to be doing the French strut or shock replacement. Now, I'm going to be replacing the whole complete assembly. I'm not going to just replace just the shock itself. Now, if you want to just replace just the, the shock itself and compress the spring, I do have a separate video on that, how to compress the spring. Um, but if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're going to go ahead and start this video right after the intro. So first things first, we need to jack up the vehicle. Make sure your emergency brake is on or you can put some wood or whatever, some wheel chucks on the be before and after the tire. Then we're going to go ahead and lift our lift up our car right here at this subframe. Now, put a jack stand. I'm only I only have one with me right now. I'm using the other ones, but um I'm going to have one jack stand on each side. So I'm only going to be demonstrating one side to you guys and then there forth. All right, so next thing's next. Uh, we need to pop off this guy, these guys. Um, what a task. You would think it would be easy. Um, it's not that difficult. It's just more steps that are annoying. Um, so we need to pop off these caps. Now these caps are seated on the nut itself for the windshield wipers. Um, you can use a flathead. So we have one, two, you pop those off. Then we have these guys right here too as well. We're gonna pop those off. Those are Phillips. Um, the way how you can get a Phillips, uh, those guys off, if they're not screwing off, you gotta do it pretty lightly. You can dig in a pick right there in between them. So if you dig in a pick while you're trying to loosen up the screw, it'll it'll lift up and they'll, they'll come off pretty easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do those um, first things. And then also, um, I think it's either 13 or a 15 millimeter nut that's right under this. But we're gonna go ahead and pop all those off. All right, so when popping off these windshield wipers, either you can mark them, whatever. I'm not gonna mark it, I'm just kinda being a little lazy right now. But I mean, I know how to put them back. Usually you can go by the old dust lip and all that so you're gonna push down well maybe see if we can rock this all the way back and then we're gonna just rock it back and forth now they do sell a tool but i don't want to punch it down because i know i might hit the windshield and that's the last thing i want is to pay for a windshield so just keep rocking it back and forth and it should pop out just like that and then i'm gonna do the same thing for the other one All right, so one final last thing. We gotta take off our ground post. So you're gonna use a 15 millimeter for that too as well. All right, so I believe we're ready to pop this guy right up on out. Now for right here, for this guy, we have our windshield wiper fluid hose. So we just move that to the side and then we should be able to just slide this right up. Uh, we might need to move this over to the side. I have two clips that are going to probably be holding this in. Um, you're just going to get a, a flat head or something, and then you're just going to pry right here. I'll show that right now. There's actually quite a few on here. Also, at the same time, we have a clip right here that we just need to pull back. So just wiggle that up on out. All right. Now these are these little clips that I was talking about. Now there's some throughout the whole um, tower. So for the rest that didn't come up, we'll pull those out, but we're gonna go ahead and pull out the other one.
So now we're gonna have easier access to our 15 millimeters. So there's three bolts right here. So there's one, two, and three bolts. So again, um, we have easier access to those now. Now, before you even take off the shock, what I would recommend is for you to mark one bolt. So mark one right here, and then go ahead and mark right over here so that you know where that the strut mount will belong. All right, so we need to pop off our wheel cap. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our flathead screwdriver right here and just wiggle it right around. All right, so we're gonna take off our lug nuts. Those are 22 millimeters. As you can see, our shock is pretty worn out. It's been leaking for a while. It was completely shot. Um, now would be a great time if you wanted to, you could replace your sway bar end link. Um, I'm not gonna replace it. Um, I don't think I need to, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off this bolt first. That is an 18 millimeter. Now, if it keeps spinning on you, um, you can use a wrench and then you can hold this down with like some pliers or uh, an adjustable wrench. This is like an Allen head right there. So I'm gonna show you where I grab this piece at. So right here, there's this that you can grab. And the boots are like a little torn. Well, actually it's pretty torn. Uh, so is the bottom one too, but still good. No biggie. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy right off. This one right here. Just get our flathead and just dig it right up on out. All right. Then we have another clip right here, but we're gonna take this off once uh, we get the the, sh the shock tower separated. So we got 21 millimeter on this side, these two bolts, and then we have, these are 24s, I believe, um, but you can use an adjustable wrench or some pliers. All right, so I think these bolts are riveted in, so we're just gonna take them off from this side. So I'm gonna be using either a 15 16 or you can use a 24 millimeter. You know what? So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna put your, your bolt back in and then we're gonna go ahead and tap these bad boys. We just need to pop these these nuts right out. So just like that, I don't know if you guys can see those grooves. See those little grooves? So that, that'll keep that from spinning, so just so you're aware. And then we're gonna do that for the bottom one too as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull these guys right out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna kind of lift up from under here. So under the rotor, I have my legs and I'm just gonna hold that up a little bit. So I'm gonna wiggle it up and down, same thing. And then this guy should drop from here. All right, so don't let it drop down too far. All right, so this guy, you just pull it right back. It, it, there's actually no insert because they don't want you saving all this stuff. All right, so for your lower control arm, um, try not to uh, let this guy drop down too much because of your brake line right here. Um, let's see. So I put something under the, the lower control arm right here. So I put this, unless if you disconnect your, your brake caliper, then you, I mean, you'll be fine. But all right, so now we're going to go up on top. All right. So once we loosen these three 15 millimeter bolts, 
um, the shock's gonna, it's gonna drop. So when you're taking off this bolt, that last bolt, what you're gonna go ahead and do, you're gonna hold this shock at the same time. You come right up under, let it drop, and then voila. All right, so for a shock, um, you really don't have to mark it. I just noticed that basically your inner bolt right here um, so if you're on the car, you're going to have your two shortest ones. The one that I told you to mark, um, obviously these two are going to be your shortest. And then the one on the inner side is going to be on the longest. So obviously it's, it's going to be like that. So even though you, you turn this around, there's really no way you can mess this up. So, um, just so you're aware, it's only, it can only go in one way. It can't go in multiple ways. And then if you have the arrow that shows it right there, that's going to be facing towards the engine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide this right in and I'm gonna go ahead and thread it in by hand. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. So I'm just gonna use my my legs to lift this guy right up. And then we'll just push this in and just wiggle it. that in and then same thing for the bottom now once you do this you are going to need an alignment by the way so you're going to be messing with your camber and all that all right so now we need a hit and our wheel studs all right and now we're going to go ahead and tighten our nuts down So we got that tightened down. We're gonna put this clip back in. And we're gonna put this clip right back in too. All right. We are looking good. All set, all done. Now we're gonna go ahead and put back on our wheel. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down this bolt. So we're going to tighten it down in the star pattern. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then when putting in your hubcap, make sure that this piece goes in with this little groove. So for these little guys, um, I mean, you can go under. So right now I have my hand under the thing and then you can just squeeze them right up on out so just like that so literally i'm putting my hand in there and i'm just kind of getting a little feel and so i'm just squeezing these um so we want to save these we want to get this as best as we can um so we're going to do that for all of these guys if you can't um you might need to replace them you can get these at the auto parts store like the gm fastener clips um if you damage them but i mean you can pick these right out but you know i would like to squeeze them and all that um for your other strut tower this is how it's going to look like this is your long bolt it's going to be facing on this side closest to the windshield and so forth but yeah other than that um i'm gonna go ahead and pop these guys right off and then we'll get right back to the video all right so what we can do is we can put these guys back so right there there's like pretty much two levels on here so we just want it on that level i mean these kind of maybe opened up i don't even know but they feel kind of loose semi-loose Maybe they're supposed to slide out. I don't even know. Oh, well, that's how there's, they should clip in, but that one didn't even clip in. Maybe, oh, okay. I wasn't pressing it in all the way. So push these in all the way until you hear them click or feel them click. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put this bad boy in. All right, so make sure that these guys aren't in the way. So once you get it fully seated in, just go ahead and tap on it so you can get those little clips in there. All right, so when putting this guy in, we're gonna go ahead and just clip this right in. So we're gonna re-push that in, it's a little hole. Once we get that in, we're gonna push this other guy in. And then we're gonna fold this right in here because there's a little lip that needs to go under the fender and then voila. So go ahead and push that in there. And then right here, I'm kind of rubbing against the hood. So as you can see right there, that for this piece needs to go between the hood. So we'll just use a flat head and push it right over this little lip. Get everything. Is it supposed to go right over there? I don't even know. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's supposed to go over there. So I'll figure that out a little bit later. I don't like how it's pushing up against the hood. I have the other one, it's all golden. Or the, yeah, that's not even going on the hood. Um, might just be like that, might be just imagining stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Then we're gonna just gonna put on our, our clips and um, put in, put tighten down our ground and that's pretty much it. All right, so now next thing, we're what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna put on our wiper arms. Now, obviously the one with the longer piece right here, that's gonna be on the passenger. So when putting this one on, you make sure you kind of push down right here. Don't push too hard where you're gonna hit the windshield. If you feel like you're gonna be a little clumsy, I would recommend putting a rag right there just so you don't damage anything. All right, there we have it. Voila. So last thing what we gotta do is we gotta put down in our clips, tighten down our ground, and that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future, and thanks for watching.